scarier stuff than that. Never will it try to get buried here. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. Good night to the bad guy. Now let's all get drunk and play ping pong. What's up, all? Clancy Joey Mac here for the uh, the seventh time. And uh, well, we just got our last reveal, so I just thought, um, you know, I, I the last couple videos I've I've waited for reveals, so. Reveals are here. I didn't want to make a video until then. Um, Sentinel and Shenko, uh, to no one's surprise at this point, I think after the Taskmaster reveal um, and Akuma, uh, it was pretty pretty known what was going to happen at this point. I guess we can all say that in retrospect, but how could anyone truly know um, literally until now? Um, we didn't know if Capcom was going to throw some surprises at us. We didn't know uh, if any of these prior leaks or fake lists or trolling or whatever else uh, was going on. But to uh, to the guy's credit, you know, the uh, the roster is here. It is complete. Um, there is confirmation um, through that uh, magazine uh, in Europe. And I've scanned every picture there was. I've looked at every video. Um, it is without any doubt in my mind that we have the final um, on-disc roster at this point. And obviously Shuma and Joe will be joining, uh, telling a, a grand total of 38 characters. Um, I know in my last video I, I went off and, um, and I'll address that. I'll address that. I think there's a couple things that really need to be cleared up. Um, but I'd like to start off like I normally do with just some... First uh, observations of the two characters that were revealed, starting with Sentinel. Um, I uh, I think they improved his speed from what I can see from the video. Um, I, I kind of actually like what they've done with him. I think he's been improved, and um, and as many of you know, like I really didn't want Sentinel in. Really had nothing to do with his gameplay. Really didn't have anything to do with. Um, I know how popular he was as far as tournaments and stuff like that. My argument was, I mean, maybe not even against Sentinel himself, it was just I didn't like the fact that there's a lot of X-Men reps, even though I love the X-Men. Those days of uh, worrying about that are completely over. The roster is complete. There's really no point in, in bitching. There's no point in whining. Um, there's no point in even debating at this point or, or even looking back. I mean, I guess you could look back if you wanted to, but... Um, Sentinel's in, and to be honest with you, like most characters that did come in from the, the second game, they were improved, and, uh, and Sentinel is no exception. I, I think he, um, he looks better than he did in number two. I don't think, uh, people are going to be able to use the, uh, the cheap label. Um, I, you know, he doesn't look like he deals as much damage, um, as you would think. Uh, at least from what I could tell in the gameplay video. I don't know that, though. I mean, the, you know, I, I don't like... I'm like a lot of people. I'm not here to say, oh, I know everything about Sentinel. I don't. I don't have a fucking clue. Um, Shenko was very interesting. Um, I would like to see some more gameplay videos specifically on her, I think, before I can make any kind of... Um, any kind of idea of what I think on her. Um, I think she looks good. Um... I think that a lot of her moves are very interesting. Not too crazy about the specials, but um, what are you going to do? Uh, I thought she was a very interesting character, though, for sure. Um, I would love to see more gameplay of her and Sentinel Bow. Just like anyone else, you know, the first video, uh, you see some nice things, but, uh, you know, how can you make any kind of true assessment? Um, so with that said, again, the roster is complete. Um... Whether you like it or not, it's done. Um, I have been trying to spread a uh, the message of there's no point in really 
being upset about it at this point. There's really no point in crying about it at this point. And if you've been watching these videos, or if you know me on uh, the Facebook fan pages and stuff like that, you know that I am always encouraging debate and civil argument, and I go on here to express my thoughts, get your thoughts. We can all disagree with one another. Uh, but the one thing we can't dis disagree with anymore is that the roster on disc is complete. Um, it is done. Um, I don't agree with uh, some of the character selections. I don't agree with them putting that many X-Men Avengers in the game, but uh, that really doesn't matter at this point. I'm ex truly ecstatic that really the reveals are done. I think I feel relieved at this point. Um, which you might find odd when I've been sitting here kind of saying I'm not really looking forward to the Sentinel, but to be honest with you, like, I'm just glad it's done. I'm just glad that we know the roster. At this point, there's no more, uh, there's no more speculating at this point. I mean, it just gets annoying, you know, sometimes, and, uh, here it is. And, uh, I give Capcom probably an A-plus for their side of the roster at this point. Um, we could sit here and we can talk about, you know, not including Frank, not including Mega Man. I think it's a marketing decision, personally, and I think they'll get rich off the DLC, off both of those characters. So I, I see what they did. Marvel, a little bit, like I said, a little bit disappointing on some characters, but at the same time, I don't know. Is what it is, you know. I'm starting to I'm starting to get a very clear picture of what they're trying to do here. I, I really think that this is all intentionally done. I think that they uh, they made the roster good enough to get excited about, generate some controversy, and then downloadable content's probably you know we're going to pay double in downloadable content probably when it's all said and done that we did for the game. Um, I will probably make another video, kind of just summing all that up at another time. I don't want to waste all my uh, time here. Um, is it too early for downloadable content talk? I think so. I really think that we need to sit here and enjoy what we have, whether you, whether you kind of like it or not. Um, you know, I, I just think it's too early. I, I think we become too spoiled if we sit here and we're like, okay, we know the roster now. We know Jill and Schumer are on the way. Um, Okay, well, what about Gambit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think it's just a little too early for us to be talking about that. And, uh, I mean, we certainly can. But I'm not going to on this video, that's for sure. Um, I, I do really, I just want to caution everyone, though, again, um, the roster's complete. And, and this is a message. I'm going to start with the people that feel upset about the roster. Uh, I know that... Um, there are, are there are people out there that feel hurt, um, specifically probably Mega Man fans, um, possibly some Frank West fans, possibly you know some fans of other other series, Miss Marvel, Elektra, uh, Green Goblin. I, I, I and I'm, I kind of feel bad for you guys because I think your characters got thrown into the uh, into the trolling, and I think we were all assuming that certain characters were going to get in, and they they didn't obviously. Um, I just say, you know, get your, keep your head up. You know, honestly, there are some wonderful additions to this roster. I know you sometimes it's it's hard to see through that because uh, you know you're always harping on something. You should never go into a game wanting your favorite in the first place. Um, imagine if I went in thinking, oh yeah, they're going to put Mr. Sinister and Jubilee in. No, that's stupid. You know. So thinking that they were going to put your favorite in in the first place is just the wrong move. Second, let's think about some of the great things that they did here, just just to give them some credit. The additions of Arthur, Mike Hager, Super Scroll. I mean, come on, these were awesome, awesome additions. And and there's more. And I'm I, I'm just you know trying to sum things up here, but um, like we should sit here and and now it's time to rem to remind ourselves why we're here. The days of debating and kind of, you know, arguing over what we don't like about the game should probably come to an end at this point. Um, the roster is done. There is nothing me or you can do to change it. If you don't like it, I suggest you, you know, send your local CAFCOM representative an email or something. Um, but I, I, I challenge people that don't like the roster, because I challenged myself, um, to really just remind yourself what are the good things about this roster. 
And just remember that, although I might not agree with certain people's inclusion, I certainly agreed with a hell of a lot more um, to offset them. So, as much as I would love to see some other series represented, especially on the Marvel side, um, maybe their days will come in downloadable content. The, the, the book is yet to be written on, on a lot of characters. Um, for those that are gloating or feel like it's a great thing and you feel like a big man because your character got in, um, I'd just like to remind you that, you know, you whining about it made no impact on Capcom's decision to put a character in. Um, and I like how you're taking shots at people that are upset that their characters didn't get in. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do except make you look like an ass. Um... There's really no reason to be throwing it in people's faces that, you know, your character got in and someone else didn't. Um, we're all here for the same reason, whether we all agree or disagree about certain things. We have all been waiting for 10 years for this game. And it's kind of absurd to me that you would sit there and gloat about such a thing when you had absolutely no... You had no power or influence over it whatsoever. So you're acting like you are the winning general of an army. You're nothing but a peon. You're, you're just uh, $60 to, uh, to Capcom. So, and just remember, other people have feelings as well. You know, uh, just imagine if Sentinel wasn't included and, you know, I don't know, Mega Man was. Imagine the reverse effect. So um, I just caution you all to, to uh, just get along. I mean, it's, it's, you know, we're not babies here. Come on. Um, my last video, I, I really, I think it sparked uh, some controversies. It's always, always good on the YouTube channel, I guess. Um, a lot of people agreed with my assessment that Capcom was um, wrong for for allowing some of the trolling to go on and you know just just feeling you know very arrogant. They were feeling their oats as if they didn't need to explain anything to us. I, I got called entitled a couple times, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, God, if you know anything about me, it's, you know, the farthest thing from the truth. Um, and I'm going to address it right now. I don't know why I'm in, uh, you know, why I should look or feel entitled for, for wanting Capcom to, um, just kind of cut down on some of the trolling that happened. I mean, for God's sakes, you, you have fans that are disheartened right now, right before your release date, and, um... For me, I just think Capcom could have done a better job of having a, a euphoria uh, feeling for everyone rather than kind of, you know, cut people's hearts out right at the end. Um, Mega Man should have been deconfirmed early, just like Gambit, you know? Like, uh, Gambit and, and so many others uh, were deconfirmed early, and, you know, I think you just kind of, you know, were like, all right, you know, I want him in, but, you know, whatever. Um, Mega Man, you know, they should have just... I just feel like that's a character they probably should have deconfirmed. And I'm sorry, you know, I maybe this is too strong, but I got tired of hearing the whining about Mega Man. I, re I recognize Mega Man as an iconic figure of Capcom. Other than that, I'm not, like, some type of fanboy or anything. I really don't have much of a say or care about him. I don't care that he's in the game. No one disc, especially. Um... But I, I kind of see where they're coming from. I see where they feel a little bit scorned. That's all. And and, I, and that was my message in the last video. So if I come off as entitled in that video, I'm sorry. But um, I think having an opinion doesn't mean that you're a hater or or you're entitled or anything. Um, you know, and I encourage all of you to, to have an opinion. And for those that wanted to debate me on comments, I wasn't sitting here like upset or pissed that you didn't agree with me. You don't have to agree with me. Um, I'm just not here to, to kiss anyone's ass. I'm, I'm here to give you my opinion, share it, listen to yours, and, and that's it. I mean, that's, you know, I didn't agree with how Capcom handled it. I, I'm sorry. Um, so in wrapping up here, I just want to give a couple shout-outs, and then I promised, uh, I promised the guys on the, uh, fan page that I would go downstairs and just, you know, give them a quick, uh, quick showing of my television that I'll be playing this all on. Um, I'm trying to vary up my uh, shout-outs from the fan page. I, I always shout-out the same people. So, a big shout-out to Wade, JC, Jared, John, Tim, Nick, Steven, Court, Dave, Vic, Chris, um, and Ray, you know, honestly, man, you know, I was praying for your family last night. So, 
I hope everything works out in the end. Uh, all right, we are descending to the basement. I apologize that it's not all uh, that it's not all uh, fixed up. Um, this is where I will be doing my uh, gaming at, and this is my basement, and that's my cat, Professor Xavier. So that's it, and until next time, peace out, y'all.